welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the final training session for the Ghana Black Stars ahead of the game tomorrow versus Ethiopia, an opening game for the World Cup qualifiers. I'll run you through uh, the latest updates in the lead up to that game, my possible starting 11, and anything else you should know before the game kicks off uh, tomorrow at 7 p.m. GMT. Everything is primed and in shape here. The boys came here around 4.30 p.m. GMT, had their final uh, training session. and. Uh, I picked a few things in terms of the players that could possibly uh, be starting. But before then, you should know that uh, this game is open to fans. Yes, uh, 2,250 fans are going to be allowed here at the, Accra the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Uh, the Confederation of African Football have actually approved that, that a FIFA World Cup qualifier game between Ghana and Ethiopia will have a 25% capacity which is 2,250 spectators. The approval letter signed by CAF Development Officer Raul Chipenda to the GFA General Secretary Prosper Harrisonado read, As it is known, we would like to reiterate that the CAF and FIFA COVID-19 match protocol clearly state that all matches must be played behind closed doors. Nonetheless, CAF analyzed and assessed your request for a medical stadium requirements compliance and safety and security perspective in your venue accordingly a decision has been taken to ex exceptionally allow 2250 uh, spectators at the aforementioned match venue the letter went down to warn that we kindly ask you to cooperate fully and to comply with the above decision while noting that in case of non-respect your federation will be subject to disciplinary sanctions by the confederation of african football but these requirements the protocols and safety officer of gfa has made it known to us and now we know that a 25 percent capacity will be allowed at cape coast sports stadium here for the game tomorrow ghana versus ethiopia now on to my possible starting 11 for the game based on the training session i just watched here at the cape coast sports stadium i'll run you through it it looks like the usual suspects are going to play in that game and for the goalkeeping position it uh, looks like Richard Ofori will come back in and start. He has missed the last two games for the Black Stars, especially in those two friendlies in June. Uh, Jeffrey Schlupp will make a starting bet, in my opinion, I think, uh, from what I watched. Uh, Jordan Ayu will lead the line. Uh, Muborak Wakasu, uh, Kamal Dean, uh, Suleimana will also lead the line. Andre Ayu, the captain, obviously, will start. Uh, Baba Idrisu, Alexander Jiku, uh, Daniel Amate, and... Andy Yadom uh, making up uh, that starting 11 tomorrow for the Ghana Black Stars uh, versus Ethiopia. Uh, those are the starting 11 players uh, that I gathered from here at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box. What do you think about this starting 11 I have mentioned here? What do you think? Who do you think will start? Let me know what you think in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. We'll have a look at the training session. Enjoy your day.
camera, I forgot that it has a good zoom too. Hmm. Oh, well, when I saw this Jamad, when I saw this Jamad, they say, you know, go believe. It was that good, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Come and see the screen now. Come and see what the... Wow. I mean, so you can stay in the stand and shoot pictures, so. Yeah. A camera before, but I did a little bit of research on it. Cool. This one's I buy from USA. <laughs> Guy, anything we buy for here in our choice. Mountain. Send the two trains, I shall be together. Really, they underestimate these files. I think they are not going to surprise us. First 20 minutes 2-0, I fall off. Eh? The battery needs charging, but all of us are battery needs charging. Should we put both press conferences together? We training session. Press conference. We training session. Press conference. No, no, no. Training session is different. Press conference. Ghana and I gave you our separate session. No, same. So it depends on the notification allowance. No, even notification. They learned. If the video becomes too long, it becomes boring. You don't do that? 